Hi everyone, welcome to this new Popcornific video tutorial. In this video, we show you how to use the projection evolver. And to get started, I'm going to explain what a projection is. The projection is a very powerful feature that can constrain particles to the surface of a shape. It can be used to project particles on a mesh of spawn, but it gives more interesting effects with particles in motion, so they appear to move on the shape surface. So, how does it work? To begin, create a shape sampler in the attribute sampler because we want to use it in several layers without having to duplicate it. Give it a name by double clicking to easily find it. Choose a mesh that you have imported in Popcorn FX. To use a mesh in the Popcorn FX editor, you must build it beforehand. If you do not know how to do that, take a look at the previous shape sampler tutorial. Now, to make the mesh visible in the viewport, we need to import the 3D model as a new backdrop. So choose the same mesh. Having the backdrop is not needed by the production itself, but it will help us to better visualize the effect. Now, we're ready to begin. In the spawner script, we will set the position to the mesh surface. Here, we just pick a random point on the shape. In the physics evolver, clear the constant acceleration property. Initialize the velocity with a random vector. As you can see, the particles are just randomly flying away. Let's create a production evolver in the layer. In the shape property, Type the name of your sampler. The particles are now projected on your mesh. You can resize the mesh in the backdrop to make it a bit smarter than the mesh sampler for better visibility. Now we want the billboard to use the mesh normal. So in the renderer, change the billboard mode to planar line quad. In the Axis Field and Axis 2 Field properties, type the name of two particle fields that will hold the billboarding axis. Change the Axis Scale to 1. Now, add the two axis names in the particle fields and change to Float Free Type. Create a script evolver. In this evolver, we will change the hop axis, y axis of the billboard. The idea is that each frame we will sample the normal of the shape where the particle has been reprojected and use that to orient the billboard. To do this, we will need to fill the output parametry chords field property with the name of a field. In this field, the evolver will store the parametry chords of the projected particles. Create the field and change its type to int3 because all parameter codes are of type int3. Select the script evolver. You can now set the hop axis of the billboard to be the normal of the shape where the particle has been projected. Great! Now we can choose a nice texture. We can see the texture because it uses the additive material. In additive, black textiles are transparent. So change the billboard material to alpha blend. This is quite creepy. This is not yet the expected result. To make the spiders look in front of them, we will use the axis field. And we will assign the velocity to it. The effect is now finished. Feel free to improve it. There will be an upcoming tutorial about advanced projection, so keep in touch and thanks for watching.